is Kawhi Leonard a hybrid player between Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan? Well, it seems like a lot of people have been comparing Kawhi Leonard as of recent to Kobe Bryant, and it has a lot of people up in arms, including me, who's a huge Kobe Bryant fan, and I'm a huge Kawhi Leonard fan. So today we're gonna to be talking about why Kawhi Leonard is the perfect hybrid player between Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. I wanna welcome you to Dreamers Pro The Channel. Let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, Kawhi Leonard is an NBA basketball player that plays for the Toronto Raptors. He's a three-time All-Star, two-time um, Defensive Player of the Year, and All-Defensive and All-First NBA uh, Player of the Year, and NBA Final uh, MVP. And he's one of the best players in basketball. In my opinion, he is the best basketball player in the world today. And what comes with great praise is great comparisons. Because Kawhi Leonard is playing so well in these playoffs, in the 2019 playoffs, a lot of people have been comparing him to, yes, you know it, Kobe Bryant, who was an all-time great, probably the top five basketball player to ever play the game. And a lot of people have been comparing Kawhi Leonard uh, to Kobe Bryant simply because of the way he approaches the game and the way that he plays. But let's face it, why is it that Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan are very similar? Well, it's simple. Kobe Bryant plays pretty much exactly like Michael jo uh, Jordan did. Although I will say Michael Jordan was a stronger basketball player, he had bigger hands, and he was a def he was a better defender. I've seen a lot of tapes on uh, Michael Jordan. Unfortunately, I wasn't old enough to watch him play live, but I have seen a lot of video on him, and he is unbelievable. Kobe Bryant is my favorite basketball player of all time, but I myself have to concede the fact that Michael Jordan truly was the greatest basketball player of all time. With that being said, Kobe Bryant also came very close to him because Kobe Bryant could shoot the basketball the same way that Michael Jordan could. Actually, he was a better shooter than Michael Jordan from the perimeter. He wasn't as good as getting to the paint, although he was a very strong finisher, finishing over the top of a lot of big men when he did play. He was a fantastic dunker, and he actually won the dunk contest during his first year's rookie season when he came out in 1997. So Kobe Bryant uh, is also world, you know, world renowned ba basketball player. And this brings, brings us to Kawhi Leonard because you see Kawhi Leonard plays similarly to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. And that's where the comparisons come in. But the thing that most people may not be aware of is that Kawhi Leonard actually spent a summer training with Kobe Bryant and Kobe Bryant taught him how to play offensively because you have to remember Kawhi Leonard is a defensive specialist. When he came into the league, he was known for his defensive prowess. That's why he was a two-time uh, uh, def uh, defensive player of the year because he plays out of this world defense. So that's really where he got his calling card from. So what happened was, because he was already still on defense, his coach at the time, Greg Popovich, spoke to Kobe and said, hey, Kobe, can you just stay in the air with uh, stay in the air of Kawhi Leonard and work with him? And what happened was Kawhi Leonard trained with Kobe Bryant that year, which was about two seasons ago. And what happened was the minute he came back to start playing, which was his final year in San Antonio, his second to final year, second to last year in San Antonio, you could immediately see the change in his game. He was now shooting, he was actually now playing very similarly to Kobe Bryant. He was taking similar shots. He had he added a fadeaway, he added a pull-up jumper. You know, he became a perimeter player, and you can tell that he worked really, really, really well on his game. And and, and you can see the improvement in his game. And it actually turned out at one point in that season, DeMarcus Cousins. After the Kings played the San Antonio Spurs, he said, man, that's like Kobe Bryant out there. You know, Kobe's work with Kawhi Leonard, you can really see it pay off. And that's a part where a lot of people miss out. Kawhi Leonard's game didn't just fall out of the sky. He actually developed his game and he went to Kobe Bryant to actually help him enhance his basketball game. Now, let's talk about Michael Jordan. As I said before, it is clear to see that Michael Jordan was a better defensive player. Kobe Bryant was really, really good. Michael Jordan was better. And that's where I think the hybrid comparison comes in because you have to see, you have to see that if Kawhi Leonard plays defense like Michael Jordan, but can kind of play offense like Kobe Bryant, and although to say Michael Jordan was a better offensive player than uh, Kobe Bryant, you can see why he's a hybrid because Kobe did not play defense to the level that Kawhi Leonard does, but Kawhi Leonard does not score to the level that Michael Jordan does. So that's why he's sort of like a hybrid. He can get you 27, 28 points a game. He's not gonna get you 35 or 37 points, which is Michael Jordan's you know, season career high for averaging in a season. He actually averaged 37 points. So a lot of people out there think James Harden, what he's doing is incredible. Michael Jordan did it, did it better under tougher, more stricter defensive uh, rules and philosophies back then in the 90s and 80s. 
So that's really my case to saying that uh, Kawhi Leonard is the ultimate hybrid player. And that's why a lot of people have been comparing him to Kobe. And Kawhi Leonard, interestingly enough, is actually a very efficient player. In the playoffs, he's averaging over 55% shooting 55% from the field as an average, which is a really, really high um, a field goal percentage. It's sort of in the same territory as, um, as LeBron James, who also shoots really well from the field because he's a slasher and he takes a lot of his points come, uh, come from when he goes to the basket. For more short clips and other interesting shows, be sure to subscribe to the Dreamers Pro YouTube channel. And for more in-depth analysis on sports and other events around the sporting world, Make sure, you, make sure you follow us on our Dreamers Pro podcast on Spotify and iTunes. Until the next episode, peace.